Let's just dive right in with your background, talk about where you're from, uh, how you got into soccer, stuff like that. Uh, where I'm from. I grew up in Vineland, New Jersey, born in Vineland, New Jersey. Both my parents are, are immigrants from Italy. The thing about New Jersey, especially in the, in the 60s, 70s, 80s, that people don't realize is, or, or many people don't realize that are, that are not from that area, is that it was a soccer crazy area because it's such a, a, a big ethnic hotbed for soccer. So ethnic clubs were a big deal uh, and playing there was a big deal. The New York Cosmos and the old NASL uh, was really the soccer that I first grew up with and my father in particular made sure that soccer was something that I was playing all the time. I think I was in third grade when the local league started and got me involved in that and it was something I just fell in love with and kept doing and kept doing and kept doing until today. Talk about your playing career a little bit. So uh, you started at a young age and... Started at a young age, played club soccer, high school soccer, played um, what was basically the precursor to ODP, early days. And in fact, um, how I got into MLS, and I'll talk about that in a second, was through a relationship with Peter Vermees, which first started when we were 12 years old, playing back in New Jersey wow. um, against each other and then with each other and then ultimately for Peter's father, the two of us both played. So I played with the old Washington Stars, Richmond Kickers, um, and then MLS finally started and I ended up with the LA Galaxy for just over a year. At that point I was 31 going on 32 and my best days were well behind me. Um, so playing was done and never gave a thought to coaching. Really? No, never. In, in fact, I always worried as a player that I could barely take care of myself. How was I ever going to be able to manage other people and, and, and be able to lead them? Um, and then ultimately, Sasha Shirovsky, within a couple of years of me retiring, got hold of me. And he said, would you ever think of being a goalkeeper coach? And I went, no. And he said, well, are you sure? I've heard a lot of good things about you. I've talked to people about you. We'd like to get you involved in the program. And he and I had an ongoing dialogue for eight or nine months before ultimately my wife said, maybe this is something you should try and do. Probably wants to kick herself in the ass now because as much as I've traveled uh, as a player, I'm doing even more as a coach. Um, but I, I told Sasha I'd do it for a year and ultimately fell in love with it. You've got a very impressive coaching resume. You spent some time at Sporting Kansas City as well as Minnesota United, some of the better teams in the past decade. Talk about your time there and what you learned from those experiences. Well, there was a lot that I learned. Um, I went into Sporting Kansas City as my first professional job. I spent eight years in Kansas City, a very successful eight years where we changed the culture, changed the roster, won two Open Cups, won an MLS Cup, opened a new stadium, did a lot of unbelievable things, and got to do that with a, a good mentor and friend, Peter Vermees. And then after eight years, I, I knew that, really after about seven, I knew that I needed to take another step and, and try to be a head coach and needed to change my image as a goalkeeper coach and as an assistant coach, so I left and took the head coaching job in uh, Des Moines with the Des Moines Menace. And after that first year was contacted by Minnesota, dangling the carrot that, hey, we know you want to be a head coach. We are going to eventually bring in a USL team. We're not exactly sure how soon that's going to be, but would you want to go back into an assistant coaching position to possibly have the USL team down the road? Uh, which I willingly did and thought it was a great idea and, and another phenomenal experience over two years. Got to open another stadium, got to help turn another culture around, change another roster, um, help take a team that, that uh, hadn't made the playoffs and take them into the playoffs uh, and make them a little more successful when I, by the time I'd left than when I had first gotten there. So there's, there's a lot of experiences that I take from both of those places and a lot of fun that I had and a lot of memories I have from both of those places. You worked previously with Jimmy Nelson, our first ever head coach, who was also a goalkeeper. And um, talk about your relationship with him and uh, kind of what you learned with him and the time you spent with him here and, and in Kansas City as well. Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy, I can honestly say, is one of the best human beings I've ever met. We are quite close. We were close, probably closer than Peter would have liked uh, when he was playing and I was coaching. Uh, but that continued after he retired there and became a coach here, which is why my ties to OKC are what they are. Um, I sought his advice when I was talking about taking this job. Um, I sought his blessing when I was looking at taking this job. And uh, the relationship with him and his family will, will always mean a lot to me. And I'm sure that you guys will probably see him here every once in a while, taking in a game at Taft or in our, uh, our new stadium. So it's not your first time here in Oklahoma City at Taft. Um Talk about your, your time you spent here briefly a few seasons back. 
Yeah, so it was, you know, part of it was personal because Jimmy was a friend and part of it was professional because OKC was the affiliate for Sporting Kansas City for a couple of seasons. And so I was kind of a, a liaison, so to speak, because the relationship was so good with Jimmy and that's how I met Jason Hawkins and some of the other people in the organization. May have laid kind of in, in hindsight the groundwork for, for everything that's happened today um, and everything that'll happen in the future. But it's, uh, it's not my first time. It's, it's been amazing to see what's happened here and how the soccer culture has grown. It's been amazing to see how the city has changed um, just in that, that six or seven year window. And it's exciting times here, it really is.